It's five o'clock in the morning, and I'm on my way to meet Captain Anthony Ford. I had called Anthony a week or so ago to see if I could possibly make another spoonbill snagging video. And so the first day he had free was today. And he was interested in making the video because he has a little different slant on how to snag for spoonbill and he wanted to show it to me. I'm going to pull into this convenience store, see if I can find something to eat for breakfast. I can't believe it's snagging season and there's not a single car or a single boat in this parking area. I can see a vehicle coming in the distance and from the size of it, I would bet that that's Anthony. Anthony fishes for catfish throughout the United States and he fishes a lot of catfishing tournaments and this truck has toy hauling capacity in the back and sleeping quarters in the front and he can go anywhere and launch anywhere he wants to without having to worry about finding a place to sleep. invited Randy and Scotty along on this trip also. Scotty was supposed to meet us where we launched the boat, but he didn't show up, so we're driving down the lake now. We're going to pick up Randy at a dock near where he lives.
Well, they'll probably open more than that, won't they, when the season gets to going well? No, I think they're just trying to buy their time until they can get out of their contract. You know, you can't have a restaurant never change your menu or add anything to it. Anthony just got a phone call from Scotty and he was back at the boat dock. So we have to turn around and go back and get Scotty. Randy had caught some fish in this spot the day before, so Anthony thought we might give it a quick try on our way down. My temperature don't read right on my grab. It's not. I was getting 51. I was getting 51 yesterday, the day before yesterday, but then when the sun's out, you get about 55. This is the device that Anthony was wanting to show me that he uses to snag for spoonbill. He's starting to come back around. This is a video clip that I took from a snagging video we made last year. Notice that the guys are having to yank the rods repeatedly up and down and up and down in order to pull the treble hooks into the spoonbill. The boat is going at a very slow speed, so in order to hook them, they have to repeatedly jerk the rods up and down in the manner that you see. The device that Anthony is using is a homemade device called a diver. It's made from some PVC pipe and either a 16th ounce or an 8 ounce sinker. And you will see how Anthony goes about rigging this device before putting it in the water.
at about 32. Normally they use four rods for snagging, but since this is just a trial run, they decided to use only two. We're marking several fish here, but Anthony's not happy with the size of them, so we're going to move on down the lake. It's going to be about a 25 mile run down to the place where Anthony wants to fish. You can see on the sonar that the fish that we're marking now are larger than the ones that we were marking previously. Notice in this technique that we're using for snagging now, not only do you not have to jerk the rod up and down repeatedly, but you don't even have to hold the rod in your hand. You put the rod in the rod holders and the boat is going at a speed that is fast enough to actually pull the treble hooks into the fish. It's not unlike trolling for spoonbill instead of snagging for spoonbill. use this technique for snagging, you have to run the boat a lot faster in order for the treble hook to go into the fish. Typically the speed runs around 5 miles per hour. Randy has a fish on, but he's hung up. So we're going to back the boat up and see if we can get it loose. Sinker on this, help this out.
ways now on social media about it. Because they're catching the fish you already caught? No. Ah, them guys are a bunch of critics on there right now for my boat shit. Yeah, they've been calling harm and bitching and everything else. I'm like, I tag my fish, you son of bitches. I just don't put it where you can see it. Anthony totally re-rigs after each fish that he catches. Anthony decided to change to the 8 ounce weights instead of the 16 ounce for the two rods that were running in the center over the top of the motors. The 8 ounce weights are pulled significantly further back than the 16 ounce weights. Notice that Anthony's dog Baxter is working harder than anybody else. That dog doesn't miss anything that's going on in this boat. Stay calmer and leave that gap in me. I like I always try to leave a gap in and they seem to stay calmer.
By the tail. No, it's a little one. You got him by the tail. Hold him up for me, Randy. Let me get a picture of him.
heading back in, Anthony's time is pretty valuable, and he wants to allow time to show how to fillet a spoonbill catfish. Well, he ended up catching four spoonbill and losing two more in the short time that we fished. So uh, that's a pretty good day. I never see old Bill around. No boy's got the campground deal here. You ever see him out and about? Basically. It takes Anthony only a couple of minutes or even less to reduce a 50 pound spoonbill to two nice fillets.
Evet. This is a couple of video clips that I took while we were having lunch at the restaurant. What a great place to have lunch. Well, what a nice day it's been. I couldn't have had three nicer guys to fish with. And of course there was Baxter. I spent most of my time with Baxter. But it was a great day. I learned some new things about fishing and I had a lot of fun. And that's what fish for fun is all about.